I want to know what was it like out there for D23? Fantastic. There was just like the crowd was um, very enthusiastic and very warm and welcoming and um, I apologize for not turning up in costume, I think. And now, like, after San Diego Comic Con, like, people expect me just to turn up in costume everywhere I go. Um, but uh, it's not as easy as that. Um, but no, it was wonderful. It was nice to be here with Natalie Portman and, and um, Anthony Hopkins and show some new footage, and it was great. I didn't get to see the footage. What, uh, what did you guys show? It was a scene with Natalie and um, and and Chris Hemsworth and Tony Hopkins where you see Jane Foster in Asgard for the first time, and how her presence affects the group dynamics of um, what's going on up there. It's very exciting. So in the in the first film, uh, Thor was a fish out of water, and in this film, Jane Foster is is uh, is that. If you see what I'm saying, she's out of place. Yeah. What else can you tell me about the film? What else would you like to know? Oh, I want to know a lot. I want to know things that that aren't in any of the trailers. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know surprises. Do you think I'm going to tell you? Absolutely not. But I got to try. <laughs> okay. What can I tell you? Um, How is this uh, film different? Well, it's different in many respects. It's different in that um, I think. You in the first film, we were really introducing audiences to the nine realms. You know, the, the mythology is that the, the universe is made up of of the world's tree, which consists of nine realms: uh, Asgard, Jotunheim, where the frost giants live, um, Hell, the underworld, Svartalfheim, which literally means the home of the dark elves, um, which you'll see in this film, um, Midgard, which is Earth, and, and uh, Nornheim and Vanaheim. Um, and all these other realms, basically, and I think this film really extends like, deep into the universe in a way that the first film was only Asgard. And uh, so it's massive. It's, it's got a really epic dimension, which I think people will find really thrilling.